What's up guys? We're going to do a guide on throttle control. Throttle control is super, super important for a very specific reason. Okay. You might think it's because you want to have very precise movement, very precise control um, while you are moving around your flagship or the enemy flagship or around rocks and stuff. And well, you know, it can feel kind of nice to like have really precise control as you move around the MC-75. It's not actually how you move. You actually, everyone actually moves a lot more like this, right? Um, boost gasping and boost skipping around the hull, making sure that they have really, 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 really quick, efficient movements around the ship, right? Not a lot of buying control here. Your throttle, some would say, doesn't even matter at all while you're doing this kind of stuff. It actually does, um, but not for the reasons that you would expect. Um, all right, so first off, right, here's an issue that we, so here's the issue that we experience. If your throttle is at full, you stall. You can see my um, you can see my speed here in the bottom left, 140 up to 160, and that back down again. And every time I boost here, it's not really it's not really going back all the way up to that max speed. If I boost two times in quick succession, succession, it will it will it will bring me up to max speed, which is good. But then if I turn all the way around and boost in the other direction, it stalls me. And not only that, but my dead drift ends once I like pretty quickly. Um, Right? Some say, now Now here's one solution, some say just put your throttle to zero, right? But that runs into, into other issues, where like sometimes, I don't have this issue, but I've seen lots of people have this issue, where even if they boost while at zero throttle, um, if they're at zero speed, it doesn't quite work. It's also just a lot of effort. You can see how slowly my throttle is going down using a controller with continuous input to bring it all the way down. And so it's really a pain in the ass to bring it all the way to zero and all the way back up to max again. So how do we solve these issues? Well, first off, we go to our controls and we change a couple of things, okay? Um, we, we make sure first that our throttle input mode goes to steps and we set our steps default 10%, we set them up to 50%. Throttle friction won't matter because we have steps, but I like to leave it, uh, so that doesn't matter. Throttle down to stop boosting, disable, because we're doing fine. We're doing throttle control as we're boosting and drifting and stuff. And if we, if we if we change this, if we turn this on, we get a lot of issues where you boost, cancel the boost with throttle down, and then when you try to drift, you'll just boost again. And then you just waste a bunch of boost energy while you're boosting and not realizing, like, wait, why am I still boosting? Um, going down here, um, we go all the way to controller throttle dead zone and i like to set this between 50 and 70 percent right now it's at 70 because so that i can have really really precise inputs right it takes a lot from my stick you can kind of see right pulling it down a little bit all the way down and then it and then it goes right a little bit a little bit a little bit more there it goes right so it makes it very hard i can say it even throw um half speed here and i'll always 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 um keep the same speed while I'm rolling um, and not accidentally pop it up to like max or zero by accident. So how do, how do we apply this? How does this actually like help us? Well, first off, the way that the stalling works, okay? The way that the stalling works, um, if your throttle, your, your throttle pip, your indicator is less than your current speed and you're decelerating, right? You're slowing down, then you will always instantly accelerate to your um to your maximum boost speed whenever you start a boost and drift always 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 so it doesn't matter if you're going from max to half or half to zero as long as it's as long as it's somewhere in there it helps a lot a lot a lot in order to um in order to make those really consistent right you get rid of the issues where you would turn around and not be able to boost back up to full speed you get rid of the issue who's where you want to start a boost and you just don't get to um you just don't get to max speed and you have to like span your boost like two or three times just to just to get to max speed so that's the mechanics of it that's the basics of how we how we manage our throttle okay um of the of the literal technical like these are the buttons that we press so how do we manage it like moment to moment in games when is it important to be at zero speed when it's important to be at half speed so in a game right 
Half speed is important when you're shooting subsystems. Half speed's more than slow enough to get enough shots on a subsystem while um, while making sure that you don't take extra damage from a flagship, right? Take it to going half speed. I'm going half speed of the VIS right here. Pretend I'm not shooting into shields. I don't take very much damage from the guns, right? About three or four seconds over there. I then took I took barely any damage from the guns. Now if I'm at zero speed, right? Look at my shields. They're all, they're already half down. Huge huge damage. Super important. Whenever you stop whenever you stop to shoot something, you go to at least half speed. At least half speed. Right, at least half speed gives you plenty of time to shoot, and then you just throttle back down to zero and you start boosting and drifting around. Right, very, very, very strong stuff. If you're using class burst and you're using really tight angles, or you just really want to do like a really tight angle, you can go, you can go all the way down to zero just for a couple seconds, just for a couple shots, and then you boost out. Very simple, straightforward stuff. Right, very, very, very straightforward. Um, yeah, that is throttle control, guys. Very, very straightforward topic. Um, very important that I get some coverage. I hear all the time that people don't know how the throttle actually works, um, in these terms. Um, very, very important that it gets used this way. Um, I don't find, to expand a little bit on why I don't use 75% or 25%, it's just, I don't find the additional control really that necessary at really any distance, right? 50 you're never limited by your speed, like what exact speed you're going, as much as you're limited by um, the time you get on target on these subsystems. And if you need to go slower, you can always just throttle in the zero and it takes a second for your speed to come back down, right? Um, it just, it just takes, you can see here as I do like this run in this gen here, I actually put my throttle right to zero and I'm still moving up until the instant that I boost away. You can see I always put my power into engines and put my throttle to at least half, right? And I'll, always, and I'll often put my throttle to zero right as I take these really tight attack angles, but to half if I have a longer attack angle like this one. You can see I have plenty of time on target. Half throttle really isn't fast enough to really get destroyed. Oh, tractor beams, tractor beams, guys. Here's your primer on tractor beams. If you, same rules apply for boosting out track beams. If your actual speed is higher than whatever your throttle says, you can boost skip the hell out of dodge. It will always work. It will always work. It will always work. If you find yourself in a tractor beam at zero, come on tractor beam me. Come on tractor beam me. All right. The tractor beams are sulking because I got away from them. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bait them a little bit. Gotta tease them. Come on. I know you hate me. Come on. There it is. Come on. Come on, come on. Hello? Alright, there we go. You can see, right? I boost with my speed, uh, with my throttle above it. It doesn't matter. As soon as I put my throttle below, instant acceleration up to max speed, right? And I can just boost skip out of here with almost no almost no boost energy, right? Just barely like two segments. Makes it super easy to escape from tractor beams. You don't want to stay down there because it does make your acceleration extremely, extremely high. And by that, I mean it slows you down a lot every time uh, you boost. But super, super strong, guys. Super, super amazing way to escape tractor beams. Super, super important knowledge. Right, that's all I got for you. Um, stay safe with that. My Twitch is switch.tv slash fencar. I have a coaching program. I um, stream almost every day and um, check out my other YouTube guides. I have YouTube guides and boost gasping and boost skipping. Super, super solid. Um, break down exactly how to do these advanced flight techniques. Um, and um, like for lots of like lots of really solid ways to to practice those that I go over in my in my videos. Like subscribe. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.